Don't you just hate it when this happens? There's an easy way to keep that from happening Most in most cases. Simply bring in your bobbin thread up to the top before you start each stitching line. This line was done with the feed dogs up, so like straight line stitching, and this was done free motion quilting. This is the back of my piece, and you see how it gets all balled up there. It's so annoying, but it's actually really easy to fix, and I'm going to show you quickly how. Okay, I'm going to start with my thread, top thread tucked underneath my presser foot, whatever kind of presser foot I have. I'm going to hold the thread taut in my left hand, and I'm going to use my electronic um, gizmos on my machine and lower my needle and bring it back up while holding it taut. Now I'm going to raise my presser foot, and I'm going to pull and see how that pulls that bobbin thread up. I'm going to pinch where the two meet and pull that bobbin thread up, hold it taut on my left hand, and then start to stitch, and I guarantee you will not have that mess underneath on your bobbin. Okay, I'm going to review that one more time. Thread is tucked underneath my presser foot. Bop my needle, my presser foot is down. Bop my needle in and out. Sorry. Raise my presser foot and pull, and that's going to bring my bobbin thread up. I'm going to pinch and pull, making sure everything's still tucked underneath. Still hold this taut, and there you go. I'm not going to have that stuff underneath. And that's how you do it. Do it every time, no matter what you're doing.